This is the trunk latch assembly out of some Honda Accord? I don't know. Something. And my dad was called upon to replace this thing. This is the child release thing right here. It's in that funny color plastic because it's glow in the dark. I'll let you imagine that. Two screws go through there for mounting. And the latch is over here. And it's also electronic. And it has a bunch of different things. There's a limit switch somewhere in it. I don't remember where. And there's a motor, as you can see right there. Some grease, some gears inside. Mm, yeah, not sure what else, really. There was a little micro switch somewhere. I don't remember where it was. I saw it the other day. The connector has three contacts on it. I've already tested this. One I arc welded my um, alligator clip wire to, and the other one works, so I'm going to show you that. Let me get the camera set up uh, on a little tripod here. All right, and here's what you get when you apply 12 volts to the correct terminal, <laughs> which is right here. That piece moves. You can hear the little motor go. And in fact, let me see if there's a, a draw on that when it hits the stop. Yeah, you can keep that engaged and burn the motor up. The other one here, the other contact, I have no idea what it does, but when I hit it, I just get sparks out of it, so that's a dead short. Not really sure what that's about. But yeah, the little motor that could. Little tiny, like hobbyist type motor that I showed you before, it's hard to see now. <laughs> but it's a little like hobbyist toy motor like that. And um, that is enough to drive this thing. And that's what drives the, the whole mechanism. It's amazing. There's a little gnat or something in here. It, it, it's amazing how cheap that is. When I had my old Chevy, my 81 Chevy, it didn't have no electronic fucking trunk pop. That was not possible. I mean, it was possible, but I mean, it wasn't possible on that piece of dreck that they were going to put that. But I wanted that. And there was a company at the time, they're still around today, called uh, Parts Express, and they sold a trunk pop solenoid. I've shown that in one or two other videos before, and um, that trunk solenoid was just that. It was an actual solenoid, and when you hit that thing with voltage, slam, and it would rip that fucking cable out, and it would really move nice. And um, then they figured out how to do it with just little motors like this. Um, the WIF used to have an 85 Dodge Lancer, and when that car was junked, I took the uh, power door lock actuators out of that, and that had like a worm drive kind of thing going on. So it would go and send a thick metal rod to pull or push, and that worked really well. Um, Parts Express also sold door lock modules, power door lock modules, that I retrofitted to my old Chevy. And that also used a little hobbyist type motor like that, um, and a gear train, and it would run the, you know, thing this way or this way to lock or unlock the door or up and down, if that's what your car had. Mine went sideways because that was a Chevy thing in the day. And, um... I used those. I also put a set of those on the Wiff's car at the time, which was a 90 Cavalier. Same style, sideways type deal. Mounted that up, and because I had already done it on my car, I kind of knew a lot better on how to mount it and make it work. And it worked great until she called me one day and said, I just got home from work, 
and I can't get out of the car. I said, what the hell are you talking about? She says, I can't get out of the car. It's, it's locked and I can't unlock it. I said, huh? What? All right. So I went over there and took a look and sure enough, the damn thing was stuck. It would not move. And it turns out it's because the shitty weather seal on the window allowed rain or whatever to get in there and it locked the entire thing up solid. And I ended up taking a, uh, I think a screwdriver that I, a flat blade screwdriver that I wrapped in a cloth or something and a hammer on the door lock thing and just pounded it until it broke free and opened up. And then I replaced the thing. It may have died even a second time, I can't remember. But, yeah, this is not an old Honda. Uh, it's not a new Honda. I don't know how old or new it is, but... It's kind of just a little ghetto like that. And, of course, if I had more voltage, like if the car was running, this would operate just a little bit faster because we'd be getting, like, two more volts. But, um... You know, nobody's going to bat an eyelash at that or care. I would notice things like that, you know, but. And somehow that flips the latch or does something. I don't know what. I don't know if I could actually latch this thing. I would need a flat blade screwdriver or something. And there's grease on it. Let me check that and we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Now it's locked. And wouldn't you know, isn't that really nice? They've cheaped out so much and had to reduce so much weight in cars that this entire assembly, except for these two things, is plastic. The fucking latch for your trunk is plastic. That's absolutely sad. That is absolutely sad. But let's see if I could hold this and show you it flipping the latch back, maybe. Yeah, it worked. It did it. Got to sort of get in there and that's it. It's not that hard to move and we can do the child release thing. That's, that's like, it, it's scummy. It's actually scummy. That's how bad that is. It's, it's actually scummy. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't remember why this needed to be replaced. Um, I, I honestly don't know. He, he kind of told me like it would bind up or something. I have no idea. But just the cheapness in the part itself and I think he said the replacement was like $45, $50, which is not that much. Is the back of it metal? I don't know. Let me take the screws out and see if it opens at all. It may be kind of riveted together. Let's take a look. So there's three screws that I see. And let's see what happens. I have a feeling it's not going to want to come apart, or if it does, the entire gear train is going to just fall apart completely and that's the end of the whole thing. It doesn't matter, this is the old part which is garbage. Figure I'll save the little motor out of it maybe, do nothing with that one day. Um, you know, that, that kind of thing. So let's open it and see. Maybe I could find that elusive micro switch. I swear I saw one, but could be mistaken. Everything goes into a mush when I'm over there. Okay, it kind of comes apart, and it's stuck on the child release latch thing, which might pop out of there. There. Broke out of there, fine. Oh yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. There's a little switch. Told ya. 
So I don't know what that's supposed to do. Maybe that senses the trunk is closed and won't operate it if it's something. I don't know. There is a spring because when I let go, it drives it back. I guess there's a coiled spring in there for that. So it should theoretically still operate this way, and you can see the little gear move. Uh, that should do, I think. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's got a coiled spring in there. Sure does. Yep. Wow, I kind of didn't expect that was going to fly out. <laughs> and here's the center pin. And the gear went on the floor. <laughs> here's the gear. Oh, look at that. That's nifty. And the motor now will just run continuously. And the other contact, I guess, will still short out. Oh, it does nothing now. Isn't that interesting? Huh. But yeah. Honda never knew this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, they did. I'm sure they failed as such before. Um... Don't know if the motor would pop out of there. Oh, sure does. Oh, wow. Okay, how the fuck did they have that connected? I don't know. Oh. So it's useless. Because you're not going to solder to that. There's two little pins in there that connect to it. Nothing to do. Absolutely nothing to do. Should work again. Oh, let's see if we can get the alligator clip on there. See, the problem is there's grease on it, and my fingers are greasy now, so they don't want to operate this thing. Yeah, it works. I don't know if the contact will come out i think it's molded into the plastic yep so yeah it's all garbage and junk the little micro switch can come out and i don't know what it does what it's for should come out it's kind of stuck Pop the motor again, see if it'll... work itself out. Oh, it's part of the contacts for that. So apparently that switch was shorting something. So, pretty useless, really. Could snip these little wires, metal traces, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, it's it's all garbage. There's nothing there. So yeah, 45 bucks for that pile of shit. Yep. Just to be able to hit a button on your key fob and make your body control module do shit that otherwise you used to use a key for. Remember the days on the old cars when the trunk didn't have a release inside the car, not even a lever or a button or anything like that. And if you needed to get something out of the trunk, you had to shut the engine off, bring your keys to the back. 
open the trunk, get what you needed. And if you were trying to do this at a traffic light right quick, you'd have to shut the engine, run to the trunk, open it up, and then hope the car would restart <laughs> and, uh, and go from there. Oh, the good old days. Yeah, that was why I put the release button and solenoid in my old Chevy. So I wouldn't have to stall the engine for that. Even though it would restart, you never know. So anyway, yeah, this is all garbage. And that was a little fun farting around with this thing. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.